Hello and welcome to another tutorial and in today's tutorial we'll be seeing that how our player will be able to shoot some sprites and, and, and you can say those sprites as knives because our is if you see our ninja days they used to have knives not guns or bullets and not a missile launcher too so we'll be focusing on knife throwing system in our today's tutorial so without first further ado let's get on to it so open your unity and if you have already opened your unity that's good go to your scripts folder and create a new script let's call the c sharp and i want to say this as bullet or yeah bullet should be perfect cool now and before getting on to this, I would like to share something over here. Over here. Wait a second, I think it's opening Visual Studio. I don't know. Yeah. See, over here, I've created an empty game object to handle all my tiles. So just go to create, create empty game object. Name that name that game object as ground and drag and drop all of these tiles into that game object. So it will be easier to you to handle your hierarchy items in Unity. So there's our scripts. Let's open that up. And now we have our um, bullet over here. Sprite, uh, you can say script, but we don't have any object which will work as a bullet. So let's find that bullet, or we can say kunai in ninja language. So go ahead in your PNG folder, find for kunai. There we have it. Drag and drop your kunai over here. I'll zoom this a little. A little. Yeah, perfect. Now we need to change this. We need to rotate this because this cannot be in a you no, know, not in a perpendicular line. Okay, it should be linear. Uh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now we need something or some kind of starting point from where the, this knife will be thrown. So what I'm gonna do is create an empty game object. And I'm going to name this as Muscle. Muscle. Cool. Now, I'm going to place this muscle right behind, right in front of his elbow, maybe? Yeah. Good. And to detect that object, if it's there, I want to mark this. Nice. Or let's do this. Perfect. And now it's a solid object, so it needs a box collider 2D. Uh, let's go ahead and add that box collider 2D. There we have it. And we need another object, or you can say another component added to this knife because this is a body which will be controlled by our key. So we need to add rigid body 2D, rigid body 2D. And as it should be in air, I'm going to set our gravity scale of the knife to zero. And I want to freeze the rotation at the axis so that it won't rotate at the z-axis continuously. And that's it. Go ahead and add component. Click on add component and type your script name. I named it as bullet. So go ahead and type bullet and it will automatically add your script. Now, as we have Blit in our scene, I just don't want him to fire at one time. So I want it multiple times to be fired whenever I press my keys. It's multiple time, yes, it will fire multiple of time. So go ahead and create another folder called prefabs. Fabs. Ooh. And Sorry, not this. Yeah, free prefab. 
drag and drop your kunai over here and delete it from here now whatever change you make over here it will do the same change on your clones of the kunai and I want to set this over here so you're all set let's go to our script and write some code so this is your script let me zoom that in yeah cool over here first we need some blood speed so we are going to type uh, I will type in public float blood speed speed nice um yeah and I need another variable called public player as player. Actually, my bullet will be fired from our player. So over here, the player is the name of the script. Okay, is the name of this class, and this class is connected to our main player. So we initialize that player as a simple player sprite. So now what we need to do in our void start is write some script. <laughs> yes, of course, for sure. So we need a player to um, find the object from player. So yeah. So we'll let's do that. Player equals to I'm sorry equals to find object of type of player. Now we have initialized that this player, actually this player variable, will take, uh, will try to find the object, which is a player, which is this ninja. We will find this ninja, and let's do that and update what we want from that. Update. We want to get some component. component uh, as rigid body 2d and get some component from rigid body 2d dot velocity uh, yeah we want velocity equals to new vector as vector 2 and bullet speed bullet speed will be equal to the um, red body dot velocity of y axis so I'm gonna just copy this copy and I wanna paste this dot y and that's it for now but it will just um, actually it will just shoot the bullet we just also we also need him to flip around I call according to our character so let's go ahead and do that so if I want to say if our player our player dot transform transform dot local scale uh, local scale dot x is less than zero We want a bullet speed to go in the minus direction, means it will go into the opposite direction. Minus bullet speed. Cool. And the game object will be, um, we are going to set our game object over here. Game object dot get component. Sorry get component from sprite render render come on babe yeah there you are 
and I want to flip my character, sorry, my bullet into that direction. So flip x, flip x equals shoot shoot. Thanks. So we have done a, a, with our bullet script. It will do nothing, but it will have some speed at, in a particular direction, uh, which is set over here in bullet speed and it will flip according to our character direction so that's the role of the script nothing much that was easy to understand so let's go to a player and find some um, things over here so i hope so i have not here i just want to delete this not a script so i want to delete this it's not a script also delete this because I want you to know from the beginning or else it will be go gonna be confusing for you so let's do this let's add some public functions so go uh, I'm gonna type in public transform transform muscle Muzzle and public game object as bullet. So we have created nothing but a reference to our muzzle and bullet using this line. Muzzle will be a transform object from where it will be, uh, where, from where the knife will be thrown. Game object is itself is the knife. Let's make it knife over here. Knife. I like to call this as bullet, kind of modern. So that's it. Not a big issue. Let's make, it over, make, let's make the same thing over here. Knife speed. Knife speed. Good. Copy that whole thing. Copy. And gonna place that thing with this this with this and this with this It'll be easier to understand so let's go ahead and create some functions in update so over here I want my knife to be thrown when I press button E so let's go ahead and do that. So type in function function if the input dot get key button down no dot key down the key code will be will be dot E. Now in the block form, in the block, uh, in this block, I will write the main function. What you need to do. So, then type game object m bullet. Sorry, m bullet. I'm typing bullet m bullet. Actually, mBullet is a local variable for every kind of throwing object, so we have initialized as mBullet as a local variable, so nothing to worry much about here. So we want to instantiate, instantiate, instantiate our bullet, speed, rotation, and velocity, whatever it is. So let's get it in. Go ahead and do that. Knife, knife dot muzzle. Sorry, it will be bullet. Sorry, knife, comma muzzle, muzzle 
position position and muzzle rotation rotation okay what does this line say the knife will be thrown from the muzzle position and will be rotated according to the muzzle's rotation so we are instantiating that function the next line we want to embolet we want embolet dot transform parent equals to equals to game object takes a lot of time to recall your code so that's why I'm stopping a bit because it's kind of complex uh, coding line so it takes some time to recall game object dot find find from game manager sorry game manager manager game manager dot transform cool so, uh, in the next line we want is embolet embolet dot get component component renderer renderer dot Sorting layer name, sorting na layer name, layer name equals to player. Okay, so that should be it. So whenever I will press my key, key it will activate this function. So let's go ahead and save that all go to unity take some time wow. yeah there we go so it's been loaded so go to your um prefab folder I and then you go to script when you blood script or it's already added I'm sorry so I'm going to add wait of a minute oh, perfect yeah I'm going to add my player which is a ninja so why isn't happening Okay, okay, wait a minute. Uh, first, we'll do with the muzzle and knife. So, we want to drag and drop our muzzle and our canai. We only did that. So, and canai. Okay, so prefabs and kunai will be placed in the knife game object. Done. And now let's see what's what's the result. Yes. So we have our this. If I press E, it's just creating these knives. Why isn't moving okay. let's I know what the problem is because we haven't defined our speed of the bullet so let's go ahead and do that I want my knife speed at this point let's talk 
15 must be good and player um, here and I don't think so player will be needed so let be empty let's see now so our character is moving left and right so let's yeah it's doing it boom as you can see the muzzle rotation function is it's uh, working over here. Whenever our muzzle rotates from one angle to another angle, it's going to fire a bullet from that angle. So it works. It works, but uh, we have no animation that will show that he's throwing some knives. So we'll do that in my next tutorial. But a quick update in my animation controller. I have set my jumping state from wait a seven second from any state because I also want my character to jump while running or while shooting actually we'll do it from any state so at any situation it will jump and whenever I release my key it will go back to idle so that is the change let's see how does it work sorry how does it look like and loading yeah you see it's running I jump see it's, it's not playing that animation it's working so that is for a clean job my bullets are working my everything is working so that's it for this tutorial In my next tutorial will be doing some work with the animations We will be doing some work with our animation, so stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any confusion, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. I will answer your question. So, till time, happy fu have fun, have fun in developing, happy programming, happy flying, have a good day, good night, and live a peaceful life. Bye bye, take care.